Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back. Thank God, because uh, I hurt my back this week, and uh, I'm just uh, getting out of walking a little bit like a duck. That will teach me to carry too much shopping. Anyway, um, here we go. I've got the frame done. This is all the blues frame. Um, I've covered it in the cloth, and um, I used a lovely piece of edging that I found. I think it must have been a, a strap or something for the back of a blouse which I rather like the colour of so I used that to go round the edges and I've just glued that down. Now as far as I'm concerned it's not too perfect but uh, you'll be I'll be covering that so it's all cloth okay and I used my staple gun to sort it out and set it at the back. Okay. All right, now I've been making some uh, leaves, and um, this is uh, some of the, the leaves that I've been making. Okay, um, I've used various pieces of cloth, and I've used um, a fabric paint. All right, and what I did actually do, I'll just show you uh, in a simple way what I did, is I cut out, um, you know, a, a leaf shape. And I hope you can see this because it's actually a small one. So I just cut out a sort of a, a leaf shape. And I choose a cloth, obviously, the right way round. Um, this is one of the cloths I used. So I just put that in the, the corner there. I'll see if I can edge it off properly. And <coughs> I cut around. And... <clears throat> Flatten off the edges a little bit there. You can clip it as you go along. And I used um, a, a tacky sort of fabric glue. And I always found it better to sort of do the I like the cardboard with the sort of shiny white sh surface, if I can find them. They're on the backs of old notebooks and things like that. Um, okay, so I added the glue. While that's getting nice and tacky, <coughs> I the edges okay make sure I've got enough glue on that because sometimes it's um, not quite enough and I just stuck the fabric on sometimes it's a you know it doesn't want to go but you know I'll keep persevering depends on the fabric you're using anyway this is quite a thick fabric I'll do the same on this side because if there's any sort of sticky outy bits you can always um, cut them off later okay large piece there, isn't it? Making sure you've got enough glue on it. <coughs> Excuse me, a frog in my throat. Alright. And you just glue. I know it looks a little bit sort of... <laughs> and it can get very, very sticky. Alright. Is it? Make sure we've got plenty on there. And that's a bit of a messy job keeping it on one side. Okay. And you're left with something like this. I'll sort that out later. Alright, and you leave it to dry. Um wet wipe. You're left with your basic sort of leaf shape. Okay? Um, what I did next was, let me just get my jar, because I use this and it's, it's sort of nearer to me. Just put this glue away and brush in the water. 
I hope you can see this. Okay. I'll find a leaf that I just made for these purposes. So I have to put something on here so that you can actually see what I'm doing. And I used a fabric glow which I found in a second hand shop, but apparently the shop doesn't make these anymore. So I went, um, well, my husband went to the pound shop and found some other um, fabric paints. I don't think they're quite as good, so I'm going to have to be searching, but you can do other things with these. I think these can be used to paint with a brush, paint on the fabric. What I actually liked about these um, fabric glues is that it had got a little nozzle on it, and so what I actually did is I just did a little marking to sort of suggest the, the, the veins on the leaf. It's a little bit like icing actually I find. This one takes to time. It dries overnight but it actually dries in this sort of shiny raised. I thought it was rather a nice look actually. Um, so and that's what I did. Sometimes it can be a bit troublesome, but you know, if you practice, you you get um, tend to get the look that you want. Okay, so with this, I've just made the 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 veins, as it were. All right. So the next stage that I went through is I made a some lovely flowers and I think I followed one of Trisha's lovely flowers because I know Trisha loves making her flowers and I was most impressed with um, some of them that she's made. So here's an idea now that um, I got from Trisha's flowers okay and I I used her I forget what she calls it now this gorgeous sort of like flouncy edge all right and I put some um, little I forget what you call them, little things that, I, th I think they're called it's almost like a tropical flower and I've added beads on the top of, um, I don't know if you can see this, one of those and I'd stuck them through to the back and glued it. So I added these little pieces of um, fabric which I've got cut out here. Um, it's like netting, but it's very pale, pale blue. So I made these fabulous um, flowers to go on on this uh, frame that I'm doing. All right, I'm going to attempt to try and make one. I don't really know how how long I've got on on this particular um, thing on my camera, so I'll just have to see here. But uh, I'll try. Okay. What I did do is just I'm, I'm sure that. Um, Jennings 644 or Fifi would um, laugh at the way I've done this but what I did was I put glue on the end of that I've got my glue gun on here in fact I'm having to use my old glue gun because the new standby wasn't actually working so that was a bit of a pain one way or another so we've got to get another one um, so I just put this little bead sort of in there and um, swizzled it around a bit because uh, obviously it's uh, I used too much there but never mind there we go so I just put a, a bead on there followed by a couple of sparkly ones which I'd found which are very sort of like a deep sort of blue a grey blue colour I fitted those on there with a little bit of glue and push that up, push that on. Okay. I think I'll put another one on there. So I made up the lovely <coughs> flower, my Trisha's flower, keeping it all sort of going the same way. Then I just rolled <coughs> pieces of, of this uh, lovely sort of um, it's quite lacy in places but they use the plain area so I just folded it over 